Okay, the pieces that I was waiting for have arrived and I'm going to begin to mount this thing. Uh, sorry if I have something, I'm not going to have enough time to finish this today. But these are the pieces that I needed. And I don't know how they expected me to mount the roof rack without them, but. At least I got him now. I got most of the pieces laid out right here. Everything except for the crossbars. Those I'm keeping in a basin for now. I'm going to read the instructions. I don't think I'm going to need them yet. Alright, so the instructions that came with this thing are not very very informative you know they're they're terrible uh, one page mentions page numbers but I'll show you later there's no page number whatsoever on any of these pages uh, it says that this rubber seal goes in here but some of these pieces are like this some of these pieces come like this uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how that goes in here. You know, I just figure out that it goes into that um, little groove in there. But these these instructions are very terrible. I I, I think they have instructions online, uh, but. You know, trying to film and, and and read instructions at the same time with a phone, it's it, it's going to be kind of hard. But if someone is somewhere that doesn't have phone service or doesn't have Wi-Fi and is trying to put this together, going by their instructions, uh, I just have to say the product may be excellent. I haven't tried it yet, but the instructions are terrible. I mean. You pay twelve hundred dollars for this, and you don't have decent instructions. I mean, I'm just saying. All right. Um, all right. See, right here. I don't know if you can see that. Repeat for remaining mounting bases. For mount position, refer to page two. Okay. Mounting position, page two. All right. Do you see a page number anywhere there? Do you see a page number? The other side is blank. Let me just double check. Nothing. Okay. Do you see a page number? Do you see a page number? Okay. Do you see a page number? And that's another thing. Mounting position. Nowhere in here do I have a mounting position. Except on this page. Okay. And that doesn't give me exact details on the mounting position. It doesn't give me, it doesn't say, you know, start right behind the door, go 30 inches from the front, go two inches from the back. He doesn't tell me anything. It just shows me this more or less um, position here for the for the brackets. And that's all I got. So I'm gonna try to check online real quick, but you know, this is all I got. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out this thing as I go along, you know. 
I can't, again, I can't stress enough how terrible these instructions are. I went online to their website and the instructions that they have are exactly the same as the ones they sent me. Except there, as you scroll down, you have page numbers. Uh, so what I'm figuring out is that I can't put these things up first. I'm going to have to put this piece together and because then I have the, uh, I guess I have the holes in there where these things are going. So if I do that first, then I know where these go and then I can move it forward or back depending exactly how, how I want it. So I'm going to try that. If I can figure this out. That one is different. So these two together, I'm assuming. So, looks like this small piece goes in the middle, this piece here, it's a smaller one, alright. This is the inside as it sits on a van, okay. This is the, 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 the inside, so in other words this is where the roof will be, and on this side is where, you know, the, the side of the van is. <clears throat> so they give me these tubes. Hopefully I have... I don't have enough. Two, four, six, eight. I don't have enough of these. I can't I can't finish again. It's unbelievable. I got six of these. Okay, two go here. There's another piece with two more, so that's two more, all right? So two and two is four. This is one side. I have another side, another two and another two. Two and two is four, four and four, eight. How is six enough? Of course, they're closed now. All right, so um, another weekend, another weekend that I can't put this together. It's just, um, it's very disappointing, uh, to say the least. Um, I just spoke with the uh, person at realtruck.com. That's the place I bought this from. You know, obviously it's not their fault. Uh, they're not the manufacturer. Um, there's a couple tap screws, according to these instructions, which are very vague, um, extremely vague. You know, uh, they have, I'll go a little closer. They got 120 inches, 150, 180, and then over here don't even have anything. And on this page, they have the 210, but they didn't even bother to put the uh, inch mark on it. So I don't even know. I'm assuming that's 210 inches. But the only the only one of these that matches um, 
what I have is the Hunt 210, not knowing what that is. Um, so I have these two tubes missing. Um, I have six. I need eight. I need two and two on one side. So that's four. Four more on the other side. That's eight. There's just there's just no, no other way about it. it. I need eight pieces and I have six. And everything else um, I have except if I go under the list of where I need the eight connector tubes, I need 64 tap screws and I only have 59. So I call them up, they're gonna call the manufacturer on Monday, hopefully somebody will get to me. I, I told them, I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but I told them if they take another two weeks to mail me these pieces like they took to mail me the, um, uh, those brackets, you know, I might just return the whole thing. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, because I really like this. But it's inconceivable, you know, and, I, and I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just a customer that paid $1,200 for this item, okay? Uh, some places they sell it for more than $1,200. But it's $1,200, $1,200, $1,500, whatever. It's still $1,200. And it's inconceivable that the person that packed the whole thing did not have a checklist and didn't go through the checklist to make sure that the customer that's paying so much money for this would receive every single item needed to put it together. So I'm very disappointed. I was looking forward. I was looking forward to put this together and obviously I can't. Not this weekend, anyway. And today it was a little rainy, but by the time I got here, um, it's been nice. It hasn't rained at all. And tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful. 50 some degrees, uh, nice and sunny. Sunday, the same thing. And, and I can't do it. And if I get these parts next weekend, and if it's raining, I can't do it again. <laughs> so. You know, I'm not mad at anyone, but it's just very disappointing, unfortunately. So, I can't do it.